acorns versus beech nuts. Some guys like to hunt the acorns, some guys like to hunt the beech nuts. And this is a beech nut. It's very tiny and it's very tasty. This is a red, red oak acorn. This probably fell out of the tree today from the storm. And you can see this one's kind of tiny because it got knocked off the, off the branch. I don't know if that's because it's dry this year. And there's a red oak from last year. Basically, at the beginning of October, I actually look for the follow the beech nut trees around. I'll actually hunt the beech trees rather than the oak trees because I know the deer in the areas that I'm hunting actually prefer the beech nuts. They actually taste kind of sweet. If you can get enough of these, you can actually cook these in a pan with butter. They're very delicious. Sometimes I fill my pockets up full of these and I actually eat these when I'm sitting here waiting for deer. They have a very nutty flavor. They kind of taste like a peanut where your red oak are very acidic and your white oak acorns are very acidic. These can be eaten. This is a, basically a nut once you take the shell off and dry it, sort them out. Yeah, there is a process to get rid of the acid in there. I've actually watched deer spend all day scraping a whole hill, the whole side of a, of a hill off trying to find them, scraping the leaves down to the dirt. And then uh, the next time they come back, they're actually easier to find because all the leaves are gone and it's all mud and you can actually see the paw prints on the sides of the hills. They're actually scraped bare. Excuse me. Dropping my acorns here. <clears throat> Not finding a lot of stuff on the ground today. Yeah, basically I'm looking for food sources today. It's still kind of warm and early. The cornfields are up. A lot of the fields aren't mowed. So the deer are still spread out thin. But uh, today I'm checking my hunting spots for food sources. Deer are actually kind of, kind of funny to watch if you watch them feed on a flat. The doe are actually very easy to spot because when they eat, they'll actually walk back and forth in a line like a vacuum cleaner even without putting binoculars on them to see what they are a doe will walk and its tail will keep flicking back and forth back and forth which actually means it's feeding and it's very content where a buck will actually just this tail will stay down and they'll just kind of stroll back and forth but a feeding doe kind of looks like a vacuum cleaner they're actually come, very comical to watch to eat once the beech nuts are gone then if there's a white oak around the deer will target that white oak until there's no more left and once the white oaks are gone, we'll start targeting the red oaks, which actually are kind of roundish. A white oak is kind of kind of longer, more like a football and bigger around. What repopulates the forest more? Blue jays or squirrels? Um, I actually have a blue jay in the background squawking. I hope you can hear that. Squirrels are bury a lot of nuts and they forget where they are. They will germinate and that does help the oak trees reproduce. But uh, if I had to guess, I would say a blue jay. Blue jays will actually pick those nuts up, fly to another mountain, hide them in a dead tree. They'll actually fall out of there and will reproduce. Where the squirrel is actually burying the nuts in a very small area. Where uh, blue jays are actually taking those the acorns in your mouth, flying to another mountain top and are being deposited. Which actually helps the oak trees reproduce. So between the squirrel and the blue jay, I would probably say the blue jay actually does a better job of uh, helping spread acorns around so they grow and no trees keep growing. Thanks for watching the PA Timber Ghost. If you like this channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you in our next video.